Hello, everybody, and welcome to another week of Mace Radio. It's your girl, Jerocelyn Ziva, live in the studio. I'm here with my man, my man, my man. You heard, you heard. Man. Alex T.212. Uh, What's goody? Uh, kid like. Hey. Get yeah, like yeah, one yeah. time. Hey, look get like. Look at the bubble gun this week. It's nice outside. Get like. Hey. <laughs> Yo, if you I'm don't know, if you're not within the NYC tri-state area, you might not understand. Whenever the weather is this nice outside, everybody in New York is just lit. Yeah. Like, we're on 5,000 million Bodegas right now. Bodegas is crowded. Bodegas, liquor is on, stores is crowded. Is right all, the, all the, like, after-hour happy hour spots. What? Harlem Tavern. Everything is lit Harlem right Tavern. <laughs> And we just found a little strip club around the corner. We found a strip club around the corner. Did you know so. there's a strip club around the corner? Yeah, there's a cave too. No, no, no. So, really easy. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be I mean, hitting that up. We're going to be hitting that up after the show today. But there's a lot to discuss today. So we are very excited. Our in-studio guest. Uh, we have the beautiful, the very talented. Harlem's own. Make sure you include that in it. We like our recognition. You know what I mean? Harlem Zone. All right, I can't because she mm. hails from Harlem. You know that. She is signed to Trina's rock star music label. You know that. The girl is doing her thing. She can sing. She can rap her ass off. And her new mixtape is called Jack Rabbit. Everybody is talking about it. Um, Download it on that. Yeah, she's, she's all over social media. And she has a fun vibe of personality. So trust me, we got a lot to discuss with Miss Brittany T. Um... Now we heard about Zimmerman getting shot in the face. In the <laughs> face. How many people saw that 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 title of World Star about damn time? Now you yes. know what it is. Yes. You heard? So we are gonna get into all of that and more. Um, also the uh Prince just re uh Prince, legendary Prince, act like you know. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Game block Prince. Yes, he uh just recently had a concert this past weekend for in tribute of Freddie Gray. And uh, in honor of it, it brought out a lot of celebrities. Britney, uh, uh, Britney, Beyonce was there. Alicia Keys was, there. and we're gonna talk a little bit about that concert, and um, you know, just a, a little bit about my personal feelings and how Beyonce and Jay Z are interacting with the Black Lives Matter movement. It might be a little mm. controversial, but I gotta speak my piece and make a statement. Here we go. But we have Alex here. Jesus, who, take the wheel. <laughs> Alex has his, his difference of opinion. The so voice we'll, of reason is what I Alex, like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, if you saw the, the the covers for Essence magazine this month, you will see all the sexy brothers of uh, the Lions mm. for the hit show Empire. We're going to talk about some surprises they have coming for season two. And a little, you know, we always got to talk about a little ratchet stuff. Let, let's talk a little bit about Tyga and Black China and yes. Black China's mother, Tokyo Tony. Tokyo Tony. That sounds like Pippin and Pippin and Pippin and Gang. You heard? Okay. So all of that and more. And today's topic is, and we really want you to call us up. Call us up because some of y'all be calling too late in the show and it's time for us to go. I got to go. I got to go home to my man and my cat. I got to go home to my four walls and my TV. <laughs> and my motion lotion. You heard? It's my skin <laughs> max. Okay. And Miss Palmer. <laughs> all right. But call us up. Okay. <laughs> call during the show. You guys are calling us too late. 516. 900-2278. Hit us up. Social media at Mace TV on Facebook. Make a statement entertainment. I'm Jerocelyn Diva. That's Alex T.212. You can hit us 212, up. 212, holla. 212. I'd be saying 212. That's 212, <laughs> That's holla. holla. So call us up because we want to talk to you during the show, not after the show. And today's topic is actually a very good one. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between just talking to someone? And actually dating, dating someone. someone. And how do you know when you're at that point of talking to someone when it's time to, are we dating or what? What are we doing? Are you wasting my time or what? When they put their phone face up around you, that's how you know y'all dating now. <laughs> the phone face? What's that? No, they put the phone face up. Oh, when they put it face up. When yeah. face up. Because that face down is a that's mother. A, mandated. It's a habit. <laughs> all right. So all of that and more, call us up. 516-900-2278. Brittany T. fans, call us up with your questions. MaceTV.com. Free beauty. All right. So all that and more. Right now, we're going to get into some music. Get into that uh, T. Wayne freestyle. First, let me have
Oh, hey, boy. <laughs> you can add that on anything, right? Yo, did you know how old three days? I hope y'all was just as turned up as we was turned up because we yeah. was turned up. <laughs> that's all we was about to, you already know what that's about to be the summer song. I think that um Fetty Wap, the, the remix come my way. way. That one. That's definitely about to <laughs> you so, see I busted out. That's about to be the summer 15. Let me ask y'all a question. You think Bobby Schmurder gonna have us for one more summer? You think they're gonna oh. He gets excited, and I'm not even gonna lie. To yeah, Rowdy. Not everybody was hyped to hear from Rowdy. It was it was their time. I'm not even gonna lie. I really do hope they get out of jail because they was literally about to blow. Like it was there. They was dead about to take I mean, over. I think they blew up. I don't think about to. Like they was literally no, doing shows with all the big artists. Yeah, they would. Yes. They, they, yes. Oh. Yes. True. Yes. True. Bobby Schmurter was next. And remember, he was about to put the whole crew on. Very true. They didn't even get a chance. Chewy. He's some hot nigga. Yeah. They didn't. <laughs> <laughs> How you say? Yo, you're such a cloud. All right. So, yeah. So, Brittany T is on her way. Uh, I Like like we said, it's it's a lituation in NYC today. So, the traffic is crazy. Um, so, let's just take it out of NYC. Let's go down to Florida real quick. Do, 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 do. Travel down to Florida. And we're going to talk about this scumbag. Oh, he literally man. is the most, I think he is the most hated man in America. He got a scumbag haircut. <laughs> he do. And the guy that shot him looked like a scumbag too. Yeah. So, <laughs> so now, now check this out. Okay, so let's, let me give you, you know, I got all the tea on the backstory. These two actually had previously had a road rage incident with each other back in September. Okay. And, um... It, it ensued, they saw each other again from what the guy is saying. He said he feared for his life and he had to shoot. He shot George Zimmerman in the face. Didn't kill him though, but- how, That surprised me. How like, is it this man has the best luck in the world? Like how? This one fat Jigglypuff has the best luck in the world. Everything, it always works. <laughs> They have to go to court, and pretty much what, what the irony behind all of this is, is that this man could end up getting off on the same law that allowed Zimmerman to get away with murdering 17-year-old mm. Trayvon Martin. Ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? Mm, talk about one karma. Time for the one time. Talk about, we don't got a sound effect for karma? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right? We don't got a sound effect for karma, nah? Okay. Um, now, I did want to discuss this. That's a good one. Dynamite. That's a good one. Now, I did want to discuss this a little further just because let's let's bring it back. And I really hope um, some people who are close to white America, because I don't know if white America is listening to this show. Um, I really hope that you take this in. He got off and many people were supporting Zimmerman. Why? Because they felt as though Trayvon Martin could be considered a thug, which was the same word that was a uh, caused a lot of. Um, Controversy during the recent Baltimore riots. Yeah, the Baltimore, so now he thought Trayvon Martin was a thug. He followed him, picked a fight with him, and ended up getting into a scuffle where Trayvon Martin ended up dead. You stereotyped this young kid who lost his life as a thug, as that happens with a lot of young black men that get titled as a thug. However, he got away with murder. Now tell me this man has their act of thuggery. Okay, he has been arrested for domestic violence multiple times. Uh, uh, attacking his spouse's father, so an elderly man. Um, a, a multiple road rage incidents, multiple run-ins with people where they're blatantly saying, like, this man is angry. And from what we knew from the facts of the case with Trayvon Martin, he was out there looking for trouble. He wanted to be a cop, and he wasn't a cop. Neighborhood patrol, unofficial. Okay, so I just feel like at this point, how much more proof do we need that he was the real thug, and you let a thug out on the street because he's not black? So I'll leave it at that because we always leave it in God's hands. And as you see, God is still working in this situation. A bullet to the face. That's why your hurt. ass got shot in your fat little jiggly ass face. Mm. <laughs> Yo, all that? You let out the range of the whole black race in that I statement. can't stand that man. Yeah. I can't stand him. <laughs> I just, he's the, like, when I look at his face, I just want to pinch his face. He looked like somebody used to get picked on in back a, in the in day. In a mean way, not a nice pinch. Like, I want to dig my nails in his cheeks and get some flesh 
in my nails. All right, she getting real sore too on us. No, right I now. really don't. <laughs> <laughs> she getting real graphic. I really don't like that, man. I hear you, man. All right, so um, F Zimmerman, but um, that is definitely karma. Let's on to my 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 uncle Prince. Ooh, look at the little soul fro. Uh, a little soul uh, fro. Uh, 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 He's such a player. He, uh, he keep the frillies uh, on one side of the jacket. Uh, don't have to be beautiful uh, 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 to turn you on. Yeah. You ain't got to be rich to be my. All right. <laughs> I thought I thought uh, I had that's back. how you know Prince. That's how you know Prince is the truth because he could do that. Those songs came out well before any of us was born. Shopping out the women's department. Hey, you don't have it hey, show. Purple Rain, bitch. That's a fact. So, <laughs> games blouses. So Prince recently released a song in tribute to Freddie Gray called Baltimore mm. and the Black Lives Matter movement. And in the song, when you listen to the lyrics, he's definitely touching on things: no justice, no peace. They don't care about us. All of that, all of that. And, and in tribute of that, he recently did a concert this past weekend in tribute of Freddie Gray. Um, there was some controversy behind that. The, um, the district attorney, Marilyn Mosby, was there. Many people called her, like, called her out saying, you know, because of the case that's going on right now, she shouldn't be in attendance of that. But look, she's still a human being who can go to any concert that she pleases. Okay. And so what I really wanted to get at with this, this is just my personal opinion. Call us up if you disagree with me, if you agree. Um, 516-900-CAST-2278. Okay, so it's all Jay-Z and Beyonce have always been criticized for not being so supporting um, in things within the Black Lives Matter movement, things that directly affect the black community. I can say for one, they were at the rally for Trayvon Martin when you know he uh, Zimmerman first got acquitted. I was there um, and I saw them that they were there. They did not speak. And they were there to make an appearance. So I, I, I appreciated that. But at the same time, I do know there's um, logistics behind it because of how big their brands are. So it's a conflict of interest. But why is it a conflict of interest of the fact that you're black? You, mm. what, 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 how corporate can any of your contracts and anything be? The fact that especially someone like Beyonce, who's from the South, especially someone like Jay-Z, who's from Marcy Projects, you've been arrested multiple times. You come from these neighborhoods where these people are being ostracized and picked on by the police. Why can't you n not necessarily be out here like damn uh, public enemy, but at least have more of a voice that really shows us that you really do support this movement and what is going on? We have yet to really know that. As of late, Beyonce has been dropping little hints through her social media, um, uh, Pray for Baltimore. So now this is the first time, though, we see Beyonce out here taking photos. Um, she did take a photo with Trayvon Martin's mother back in there. So now you see in these pictures, they're taking pictures with Freddie Gray's family and um, Mike Brown's family at this concert. And it's like, yes, finally, they're doing it. They're showing that they support the Black Lives Matter movement and what affects our communities. But... The whole Prince concert was streamed on title. And I just think it falls back in line <sighs> to you will only so see Jay. It was a business move. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know what? We, 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 we talked about this a little bit. And I, I thoroughly, I mean, here's the thing. I feel like there's no issue because here's the thing. If it's going to be broadcast, somebody's going to get paid. Now, you mm -hmm. can even have that argument and say, oh, mm -hmm. if it was Sony broadcasting it, if it was any other company broadcasting it, it could be the, oh, oh well, it's, you know, nobody will have an issue with it. But I feel like because it's Jay-Z getting paid for it, I feel like we should be putting the money in our own pockets. And the fact of the matter is he is there in support of the issue. Right. So I don't see the issue with it, you know? I feel you. Jerozalem feels like, oh, he's only there where he can get paid. My thing is somebody's I mean, going to get paid. Why not put the, the dollar in the black pocket? To be fair, though, it is kind of uh, sketchy that it was only available through title i mean you know listen i mean what's, gotta, what's sketchy understand, about that you gotta too. understand something as well they are part of huge corporations and so every little move that they make granted i don't disagree with it but this is the reality every move that they make will be criticized and you know how suits get and they want to make sure that whoever they're putting money behind or whoever's representing their their brand or what have you they're making the proper decisions or they're uh, following the right movement. So they just want to make sure that, so for instance, if it was, uh, if let's say, and I'm not even sure this is uh, uh, going on now, but let's say McDonald's represents or Beyonce represents McDonald's. 
she makes a statement. Right. She makes a statement, gotta, right. But then the executives of McDonald's might say something totally different and say, well, wait a minute now. We pay you a large check for you to represent our company. Thus, we don't really like you out here on your Black Panther political stuff. Got you. We want you selling, you know, Big Macs and, you know. And large fries real quick. Large for one fries, too. exactly. And so it's, it's a great, I mean, it's a, it's a thin line just, just for the I look credit. at it like this. That money to broadcast it has got to go in somebody's pocket. Right. I look at it as, you know, supporting our own. If, if somebody's going to make the bread, why not it be Hove? It could, be, it could be some executive we don't know from right. NBC if it was broadcast on NBC. I mean, that's a good, but, you well, know, he's got point. an up-and-coming company. Good he's point. supporting the cause at the same time. I mean, it's a win-win if, if you ask me. That's a good point. I mean, it's a good point. I'm just saying, It's on you know. title. He's still supporting the cause. I, was, I mean, and, and if, whether it's broadcast by title or not, that's not bringing anybody back. Right, right. You, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Like, is it right, that sorry, bad? Not, I still have a cop title, so. <laughs> sorry, no offense, Jay, but come on. Now. I'm not, uh, come on. I don't know. Have you cop title? Have you paid for title yet? No, no, no. Okay. No, then. no. I will never. <laughs> no, no. Videographer. Let's hear. Do you have title? No. All right, then. Music then almost you. free by now. I don't, you know. <laughs> I'm a, I'm I come from the Napster share bed generation. You do, do you do the Spotify? Do you do, do you do the, uh, what's the other streaming service that they got? Uh. It's Spotify, it's uh, Pandora. Pandora, there's a ton it, of them. Because yeah. Google has a music streaming service. There's right. a ton of them out there. Uh, they have Beats, Beats streaming as well. iTunes, so. the OG. I, yeah, man. You know, you're going against a monster. You're going against four monsters at once. It's But it's the fact tough. of the matter is, Hove realizes he can cash in on his name. And there's nothing wrong with that. I would do the same. You, you put your hand in anything, people recognize your name. You know, you can get some sales. I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, I agreed. 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 This is what I would actually like to see. And this is preach speaking. This is what I would actually like to see. That money, that whatever they make. So uh, the new, whatever the new Maybach, he's big enough, the new you blow watch he's talking about, whatever. Let's put it back in communities like Baltimore and put it into the school system because that's what's really causing situations like we saw with the riots in Baltimore. There's kids who feel like nobody cares about them that have turned their back on them. And so it's like with any, I don't know if any of you guys have ki- ch- children or anything like that, but you know, when you turn your back or you don't give any attention to your kid, obviously, obvious thing that's going to happen is they're going to rebel. They, gotcha. they act out. So I would actually, you know, posing for pictures is great. Good for them. Clap them up for that. That's great. I would rather them see them invest in, Pro- in property in Baltimore, better schools in Baltimore. Like, let's, let's, it starts from the ground up, and that's where you got to get them. You got to get them when they're You younger. know what the thing is? You know why I knock when people say things like that? Why is that? Because I feel like a lot of people put it to be celebrities that are rich. To do because it. they can afford and it. Then, and then, but here's the thing us common folk, there's way, there's way more common folk than there are rich people. And if you yourself can't say, hey, I put $10 towards this, right. or I put $10 towards that, just because they got a lot more money, I right. mean, you could still throw your support behind whatever you want, you right. know? And, right. you know, I don't like to make those 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 statements because, you know, they they millionaires and they do what they have to do to get their chicken. But right. at the same time, I don't knock them because me personally, I, Alex Turner, I have not spent any money to donate to a school in Baltimore. Right, right, right. You well, know? What, what I'm just it's, saying it's, is it's just, a global community, listen, you know? I'd rather not see you put the stack of money to, the, to your ear and act like it's a phone. Woo. But that's motivation, though. No, it's not. That, mo- that motivates you. I, I see that. You know what I say to myself? That doesn't. I'm doing me, something wrong. No, <laughs> I mean, I'm doing something wrong. More, see, that's the thing. Like, uh, like let's say it's Mayweather fifty having a stack of money to the air front, like it's a phone. That stack could go to, could get a better gymnasium. That could get a, you know, it could just change so many things in those type of na- neighborhoods for the good dope. and to make better. Just make a better situation for everybody. So, Mr. Got Rosalind. You. Hi, Mr. Rosalind. Sorry, y'all. You, you back in the team? Don't be sorry. You be, you, 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 owe me a, you owe me a check for that, 15. That's 15. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Um, oh, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lost. I was like, dang, what are they going to talk about? No, we were, just, we were just talking about how, I, in my opinion, what I was saying is you can't have pictures with stacks of money in your ear front, like it's a phone, and you're not re- reinvesting that money into neighborhoods like Baltimore or Ferguson or or brownsville brooklyn or wherever i'm just saying and he's saying he doesn't like statements like that because it kind of seems like you know they worked hard for that yeah, money but you no, know that i i understand but that's the problem like i mean i'm sorry i don't want to get like too on the black power movement but 
That is the problem within the black community. Like, I'll use a perfect analogy. Why is Harriet Tubman Harriet Tubman? Harriet Tubman easily could have went through the Underground Railroad and got into slavery and was like, I'm free. Bye. Right. But no, she went back and, and extended her hand and analogy. brought other people out. And that is what you were supposed to do, especially within our culture and our community that is highly oppressed, highly ostracized. Those of us that do make it, you cannot forget where you came from and you have to continue <laughs> To support. Imagine, imagine Harriet Tubman be like, yo, all right, y'all on your own. I'm out. Yeah, yes. <laughs> like, I'm, hey, hey, it's getting dark. It's getting yes. dark. <laughs> Come on. You niggas got to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's, okay. but, she brings up, but she brings up a great point. She, she went to go get others. Yes. And that's the exact point. And that is the kind of pressure I would like to see. Now, imagine every year we see the same five men on the top of the hip hop boards charts. Diddy, Jay-Z, Dr. Dre. Birdman and 50 Cent. Right. Now imagine if at least the top three, Diddy, Bird, Diddy, Dre, and Jay-Z got together and like did something where it was like this you, is they could they could literally put their money together and make a private school within Baltimore uh, uh, right then and there. Okay. You have a phone call. Okay. Let's be real. So it's like use your power for what matters. And and then what Jay-Z continues to do, like even when um the same day the Baltimore riots was happening and he had J, J. Cole go do a title concert. And then just recently, he's promoting the title B-Sides concert just only for title users. So it's like you're still, and at the end of the day, that title is not for us. We have to pay 10 to $20 a month for it. So it ain't something that's for us. But at the same time, you want to go and now use the Black Lives Matter movement to still promote your title stream. Like, get the fuck out of here at the end of the day. Uh, you got a phone call. You got a phone call. Oh, we got oh. a phone call. Who's Ooh. on the line? <laughs> What's going on? It's Mr. Richard Hall. What's up? Hey, hey. All right. So you hear what we're talking about. Um, on Jay Z and um, if he should be more involved with the Black Lives Matter movement, what's your opinion on that? My thing is, did did you forget that he's always behind the scenes as far as like putting money up for like the Trayvon Martins and stuff like that? That's true. Like, he's yeah, been in the scene, he's been on in the scene. He's just been behind, like you know. What I'm and saying? and to to I piggyback off of what you said, someone had recently also said that um, because of Jay Z's past with, you know, the dealing of drugs, like, he does have to kind of be very careful of no, what he no, does No, but you, I'm sorry. I, I mean, look, I understand he does a lot of things behind the scenes, but I'm talking about doing stuff major. So mm -hmm. as opposed to, like I said, as opposed to, you know, making a company like Tidal, which is a great idea. I can never knock another black man's hustle. Good for him. I'm, I'm proud of him. But if you want to see truly change, you truly want to see change, it reinvest in those communities. Like, look at Detroit. Detroit got built right back up by uh, Dan Gilbert, who owns the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mm -hmm. He, I mean, he's not a black man, but he put money back into those communities, put his businesses into those communities, like employed a lot of people from that community, and now Detroit's on the rise right now. Exactly. What were you saying, Harvey? Like I said, I feel like he's still behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? And he's still doing a whole lot of things outside of this world also. People in Africa got water forever. Yeah, so I mean, what it what it is, he got water forever. So you know what it is is that I guess Jay Z does so many things. You know, he does things behind the scenes, and it's not so put in the forefront. But the things that he does do that is within the forefront. It just represents that he's all about putting money in his pockets. So maybe he should kind of switch that around. You know, like put put it behind the scenes that you put in money in your pockets, and put it in front of the scenes that you're about your community. But um, we gotta move on, Harvey. Thank you for calling us up. Um, every, everybody be sure to support the rich at heart movement. All right. Thank you. All right. So hugs everywhere. All right. So we got Brittany T in the studio. She is here. So we're going to get into her music. When we get back, we sitting down with, with, with Miss Jack rabbit. All right. So let's get into Brittany T, uh, frenemies.
Yeah, let me. Do you know your Instagram password? Do I know mine? I'm riding by. Yeah, get the back down. Get that back down. Get that back down. Get that back down. Okay, here, you can write the caption, one of y'all, because I don't know anything. <laughs> All right, we are live in studio. We got our guest of the day, Brittany T of Rockstar yes. Music. Yes. She is currently trying to talk to her fans via Instagram. <laughs> yes, via Instagram. She got a lot going on. Um, but we're happy to have you here in the studio. Thank so, you. So Jack Rabbit is the mixtape. Yes. It is out. You can download it, listen to it everywhere. Everywhere. Nah, that piff. <laughs> at that piff. Um, and it's a lot. Hold on. Happy the caption that we put on the thing. Put that in there. <laughs> um, so you're Harlem's on, definitely from Harlem, right? Definitely from Queens. Definitely oh got popping in Harlem, though. Wait, why did Queens, you? Queens, no, let's talk about this. No, wait, let's talk yeah. about this. Let's talk about this. Yeah. Queens, because I'm from Queens. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. But now she's repping Queens. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait. You can't be now. You're going to oh, be repping Queens. Oh, y'all going to play me like really? I don't be. Come on, son. Come on, son. Preach. Come on, son. Okay, this is what I always where, say. Where, where in Queens? Where in Queens? East Elmhurst. I don't deny that I'm from East Elmhurst. All right, Brittany, okay. where are you from? Where I'm from Long Island City. Oh, LSC, okay. that's close. What? Q19. Bye. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> the thing is, Yo. I went to I went to high school in Harlem. Okay. So you feel me? I kind of moved my movement. Yeah. But now let's talk about why does everybody think you're from Harlem? Well, everybody thinks I'm from Harlem because I went to Harlem and I just I kind of just like dominated out there. I yeah. went out there and I was just like dancing all over the streets and singing all over the blocks and met DJ Webstar and. You that's know, the first time I popping. heard her. Yeah, it's oh, Brie Beauty. It's my time. Yeah, now. that was. I'm the queen. You get the cat. I'll tell you better than that. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, but you weren't from Harlem, though. No. Oh, but that's why. So then from there, that's when. Yes, I hopped just... on the F train. Went from the F to the D. <laughs> uh, got right off, right in front of yeah. Popeyes. That's too fun. Right on to the rest, fifth. And the rest is history. <laughs> And the rest is definitely his And uh, you and Tiana Taylor, y'all like BFFs? What's yes, yeah. uh, we're BFFs. She's actually pissing me off. She's calling my phone right now. Like, what is it? <laughs> she just got in town. Oh, uh, that is adorable. Because y'all really, been friends for years. Yeah. For years. Yeah. And yes. kept it going. Y'all grew up together. Yeah. And y'all both popping. Because when I went out, when, when I went got off the D train and I went to Harlem, she was the hottest thing smoking out there. On her bike. Right. She was, <laughs> and, I was, and I was like, who yeah. that? <laughs> but yeah, that's dope. How are, you, how are you both able to come together? Because at the time, y'all was both popping and, yeah. and not with the egos. How were you able to come together and actually become friends? Well, you know, I was a, I was a, I was, I was a little fag back in the days. And um, I thought she was a little fag too, but she wasn't. <laughs> and um, I went up to her I and I was her, just honestly. like, I'm trying to holler at her. And she just was like, nah, I'm not like that. And I was like, oh, okay. So all back, Yo, like, she knew. She knew I wasn't no hater. Like, she know I'm not like, I'm not even on that. Like, I'm just trying to get next to you. Because I was going to ask you that. So you don't, you're right now. I, I right now I'm just, I'm just single. I'm just like, you know, I have an open heart. 
it's so, not like I'm it's not like I'm gay or like I'm straight or love, whatever. You love yeah, that's love. The best way to it's say whatever. I'm in an open relationship. Yeah. Have yeah. an open heart. Everybody's yeah. just to you share. A sexy. It's free love. It's free, free love. love. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, but that definitely it, it can it, you know because in the music on you're very sexual. Yeah, <laughs> I just just got this way. Oh, this is new. Like yeah, this is this is very this is more this is more me growing up now. Yeah, because before I was I was very gangster very aggressive yes and you and can hear I still that too. Have my aggression yeah you hear that too you hear it, it this is what i get from the mixtape i hear a mixture of definitely like little kim hardcore yes uh, um uh missy elliott because yes. the way you play with your voice like she plays with her voice a lot you can definitely yeah. say Nicki minaj but then she yeah. definitely got that hardcore remy ma foxy mm -hmm. brown like definitely yeah. like just real rugged hard yeah. and then you're signed to trina which is really dope yeah that's so. What is that like? Because you yeah, know she's, she's be a great influence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Trina's a Trina. Trina's definitely a very very good mentor, and um, I love Trina. She's yeah. just like she's she's bubbly. She has this accent to die for. Yeah. I just I just want to hear her talk all day. <laughs> yes. all day long. So did you relocate it to Miami? <laughs> yes, but I'm actually back out here right okay. now. Got some things in the works. Everybody will find out very soon. Love and Hip Hop New York. <laughs> yes. Stop. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would love, but I really would. Like, I would love to see you on because your personality, like, yeah. you don't care. No, I don't. And, don't fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's it's who you are because this is. Okay. I, I want to get into this too. I feel like a lot of what we see, um, it's definitely an act with yeah. a lot of the. Um, and we're gonna get into that. Oh my gosh! Like, really, I'd be so confused. I'm like. I know you. I know you. I know, you know them black personally. From, this is not even your voice. Yeah. Like niggas be out like like gang yeah, and you know and that's yes. not your voice. It's not your voice. Um, <laughs> but you're yourself. Like, all day. All day. Every day. All day, baby. <laughs> so now, how long with the music? How long have you been doing this in regards to the singing? Because you sing and you rap and you sing mm -hmm. very well. Thank you. Thank it's you. not even not no on no bullshit. Because you know yeah. Nick, Nicki Nicki can sing, but it's a little. It's a little on it, the, it take a lot of it's studio. Cute. Her uh, voice is cute. Uh, like yeah. you can sing. Like you can really blow. Yeah, like she can sing like I sang. Yeah, you sang. Like I sang. That high <laughs> note in grinding game. I was like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. You put a stank on it. Yes. Yeah. So how so are you were you like trained or this is this is just natural? Yeah, this is well, I've been I've been very natural like throughout all of my life. Mm -hmm. And um I just I recently I got some training by Miss Betty Wright. Oh, yes, who did Mariah Carey yes. and Diddy and uh, yes, everybody. And um, yeah, she basically she basically just trained me in how to control and perform without, like, yes. you know. Yes, um, yeah. you know, because definitely on on the mixtape, if you haven't listened to it, listen to it. Um, you can hear how you're playing, like your voice. She does everything. You do everything yeah. with yeah. your voice. Um, so who did you grow up listening to? Well, me personally, I grew up listening to Missy Elliott, yeah. Little Kim, and Lauren Hill. Yes. Like most definitely. You did, yeah, yeah, you said you like, might just yeah. love, but you just like the bu one. the Busta Rhymes, like like very influ influential to me, Ludacris yes. and you know, those like just those animated, like those people that just brought something so much different to the game that it was so fun. It didn't matter what they were saying. If they was talking about sex, titties, whatever, whatever, and me yeah. like being young, like all I seen was just fun shit you know yes. what i'm saying yes no and th that's what i get from it you're um you're fun yeah, yeah. that's what you used to run home and watch rap city yeah see the new buster video yeah. new Luda, you know like, you had whoa. some animated something crazy yeah <laughs> who are you listening to right now i'm listening to a lot of fucking drake and um mm -hmm. tory lanes and party next door i'm basically I from toronto party. right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> like all of i just like i love love yes. love 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 their sound like, yes like I really, really do. Yeah, I appreciate it. Like people are mad that all rappers are trying to sing and this, this, and that. But to be completely honest, it's the it's, fucking new millennium. Yeah, it's like okay, it's like we get it. A lot of people can rap. My granddad can rap. All my uncles can rap. Mm -hmm. Everybody can rap. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, what else can you do? And, and can you, you make your voice an instrument? Yes. And Very and true. and they talked about how, like you said, rappers are singing. But listen to how the sound has evolved. Because if you want to take it back. Bone Thugs and Harmony was they were singing. Been singing. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, Nate yeah. Dogg. R.I.P. Been singing. Come What's on, up? come on. Like people were. If you ask me, Nelly. I mean, it yes. might not be singing, Nelly. but it was very melodic. Nelly. Nelly was singing. So, what do you think about the current state of hip hop? We hear a lot about it. 
Um, I do think there's a transition going on right now from what J. Cole, J. Cole's album came out, Drake, Kendrick Lamar. I think it's getting I think it's getting better. I feel like I feel like it was it was it was dying. It was doing very bad. Yeah. And um I feel like it's it's just like with anything else, like it gets fucked up and it shit starts going downhill until you find a cure. And I feel like right now, like the cure is being found, especially with me on the market. Yes, like, honey. Put out my first mixtape. I feel like okay, I saved hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> I saved hip hop. Yeah, we gotta we gotta call on the line for Lucky from Queens. All right, hey, Lucky. Hello, hello, Lucky. Where you at, Lucky? <laughs> all right, let 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 Lucky. Um, all right, so I want to get into this because you know I was going through some of the stuff, and mm -hmm. um, you recently tweeted out some stuff about Nicki Minaj co-signing Dej Lo. Yeah. Um, do you think Dej is trash? What and it, from what I got from it, there was I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that Dej Loaf is trash, like completely trash. Like, no, like you know what I'm saying? She's a cute girl, she has a unique voice. Majority of the things that come out of her mouth are trash. You know what I'm saying? And I'm and I'm not a hater because I'm one of the people that gave Dej Loaf a chance. When everybody was bashing Dej Loaf and saying this and that about Dej Loaf, I was the one that was like, give the girl, like, give the girl a chance, you know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, I gave her that chance, and uh, it just, like, it just didn't really, it didn't really work for me. Like, they got her out, they're pushing her right now. Like, they're pushing her hard. Like, Dej Loaf here, Dej Loaf there. She's all over the radio. And the new things that I'm hearing from her is just like, mm -hmm. what are you talking about? Like, did you go in the studio and you felt like, those words that you put together was okay. Yeah. Like, like I feel like you have to have an understanding when you are at a certain level and you have a pedestal, you got to represent for everybody that's your skin color, for everybody that's trying to do what you do and get to the spot where you're at. And I just don't feel like she holding us down right now. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like she's a good representation of us. Nikki, yeah. she did that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Nikki did that. Nikki knows who she is, and she killed it. So, and she's still and, killing it. And even, okay, but now to take it to with Nikki, she does get a lot of criticism now for people saying that she just doesn't really know how to tell a story in her songs. <clears throat> like, when now, when you hear somebody come out like a Tink, and everybody's like, oh, she's the truth, she's speaking realness, yeah. why do you think I love that? Tink. Yeah, and, I love Tink. Yeah, but I hear it a lot in your music as well. You're sitting here telling yeah. people, look, when you sign a contract, be careful. You're telling, yeah. you're saying real stuff, so... How do you think, do you feel, why do you well, think Nicki kind of... With Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj just, I felt like it was just so much. Because to be completely honest, Nicki been telling stories. Yeah. Like, Nicki been, Nicki been the truth. Like, I'm not, I, I'll never take that away from her. Mm -hmm. Like, I legit, like, you could kind of say I grew up listening to Nicki too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was a little bit, I was a little older at the time. But I definitely, like, grew up listening to Nicki too. Like, in my teen years with all of that that she had coming out, like she had plenty of stories. Like she got mad characters and everything. I, I feel like I know all her cousins. <laughs> like <laughs> for real. But you said um that she co-signed Dej Loaf because she's less of a threat. Yeah, because she's she you know she's not a threat at all. Mm -hmm. Like not even not even a little bit. And I feel like you got people like me and people like Tink and you got people like, you know what I'm saying, that's really hard. Like a sing, rap right do everything and i just i just don't feel like nikki's ready to get knocked off the throne so she's not gonna she's not gonna give nobody that that open you know what i'm saying that open arm but days love because she's no competition that's yeah. nothing exactly. like oh days love oh my my son i never gotta worry about you getting out of pocket because you don't got it Man. all right so we're gonna get into some more music we oh we we got a caller all right caller Hello? Lucky, you gotta talk, man. Go ahead, Lucky. What's going on with Lucky? I'm convinced that Lucky isn't very so lucky right <laughs> no. now. And lucky is busting <laughs> my goddamn time. All right, all right. All right lucky, sorry. get it together. Um, we got all um all about the shmoney, Britney T. We don't fuck about me. Let's, yeah, because that's my twerk song. Can we play that one? This is, twer this is twerk weather.
All right. Be back. <clears throat> Girl, you just had me up in here shaking that. Uh-huh. Is that, was that, now was that the influence of Trina? <laughs> right there with that drop and get that me That was that whoop whoop. Good love, but that is stupid. <laughs> Yes. I'm a big time twerker. I actually just slowed down on twerking. <laughs> like I had a, but no, no, I'm serious. She said like, it like it's a, well, it's a drug. Like, like, yes. I just had to, you know, I had to slow down. It was definitely, it was definitely a serious, serious <laughs> thing for the kid. Like I couldn't stop twerking. Like everywhere I was at, it was like twerk, 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 yeah. twerk that ass. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What happened that made you say, you know, what? I gotta slow down? Did you find yourself Easter Sunday? You was like, wait, this ain't you know time. what it was? <laughs> you know, you 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 know you know what it was? What? It was when it was when my nephew oh started twerking. I was like, <laughs> okay, he's watching too much. I have to stop. We have to stop. Yes, you have yes. to say, hold on, King. Yeah, I'm his idol. <laughs> So tell us the name, the the um the name Jack Rabbit. What where'd you get it? Why okay, you well the name, the name. Oh God, it's so deep. It's so fucking deep. It's it's, it's very very. Okay, let's get deep. Let's get a little deep. So the name of my first mixtape is called Jack Rabbit Volume One. Mm -hmm. I came up with the name because, as we know, whoever knows me, I like to jack beats. I hop on other people's beats and I rip that shit. Right. Yes. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like, remember 50 Cent back in the days, he had the jacket for beats. Yeah. So I was like, Jack Rabbit, like it sounds a little bit, it sounds a little more sexier. And Jack Rabbit is like a real thing. It's a, it's a hair. It's like, it's like a bunny, but it's a hair. It's like the fastest and highest jumping like animal, period. So I was like, I'm gonna jump on your shit. I'm gonna jump on your shit like a motherfucking jackrabbit because it don't get no better than that. Yes, but and, there, there was some original. Yeah, of course, yes, of course, not because Jackrabbit mm -hmm. is 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 also it's also an alter ego. Mm -hmm. Jack, that's the that's the boy me. This it's a it's a, it's a it's a crazy gay boy. Britney and Jack. Yeah. Oh, Jack is a gay boy. Jack is a crazy gay boy, and that's who I am. And RP to my granddad. His name is Jack as well. Oh, that's and crazy. I that I just matched that up. Like wow. So yeah. you know there's going to be a lot of comparison yeah. to Nikki with just with in general the the look the sound it's been the... it's been that way since it's been that way since Nikki came out cuz I'm not yeah. going to say since I came out because yeah. I I came out first yeah. <laughs> but I just kind of like you know fell back because it's it just I was too young and I didn't understand and yeah. it was just it just needed to gotcha. live my life I needed to go yeah. back to school I just the homeschooling thing it was just it was just wasn't it was it wasn't for me yeah you know what I'm saying and um yeah, so ever since Nikki came out, they've been the comparison been there forever. So now with some of the songs, you know, like on on the mixtape Jack Rabbit, like so instead of enemies, you did Drake's enemies, you called it frenemies. Yeah. Tell us the inspiration behind that. Do you have a lot of frenemies? Did you, you have did you get into a situation like yeah. the one on the skit with oh, somebody? Yeah, skit was a hundred percent a real skit. Oh See, yeah. Like, yeah, that was a that was a real, real thing. And that was a real, real frenemy of mine from Queensbridge Project. Shout outs to her. <laughs> And um, she still shout her out though. Yeah, cause like that that was a crazy situation. But we were young, you know what yes, I'm saying. Yes. So I'm not really mad. I'm not really bitter, I guess. But it just was like a real situation that really put me on. Like yo, bitches is foul. Was it that she was trying to talk to the dude? So she was trying to. The crazy part is that she wasn't even trying to talk to the dude. Like was it was just some flow. real hateration in her blood. Like it was gotcha. just some real, real, real hate there and. She wanted me to get caught. She wasn't happy that I was happy. Got you. Yeah. But like frenemies all over the world, man. Yeah. Like I like you preaching to the choir. Because realistically, let's just be real. Okay. When you're young and you're pretty and you're talented, it just comes with the territory. Yeah. And I had to deal with it all of my life. Because yeah. I've always been singing and dancing. And your personality too. It's yeah. gonna make a girl like Feel look away. at you, be like, what? Who's yeah, she? but I mean, like everybody goes through, everybody goes through that. Like I said, I had a lot of friends made a plan that they envy me. See, mm. jealousy and envy and is, envy is completely different. Like envy is deep. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those they gotta so being back now. You know, because I I know you you gotta run, but just please before you go, tell us what's next for. What's nah, I got, I got a few minutes. What's All right, good, because good, because we got about <laughs> ten more minutes left in the yeah. show. All right. Um. So now, tell me the inspiration behind the song "Grinding Game," my favorite song, by the way. 
<laughs> yes, Grinding Game, which is actually my favorite song and the only song that my grandmother could listen to off the mixtape. <laughs> yes. uh, that is the only song. I heard a few jokes. I was like, God, That is bitch. literally the only song I would play for my mother. Like, look who I'm interviewing today, Mom. Good girl. Good, wholesome girl. <laughs> yeah, she comes from the church. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Grinding Game, it, 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 it was, I realized, like, in the middle of me recording it, that I was kind of subliminally making a, a dedication record towards my little brother who is in the music industry right now too. And he's just like getting his feet wet. And of oh, course, God. like he, he's hot. He's, he's dope as fuck. He's fresh. He's new. They loving him. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just kind of like subliminally telling him like, yo, watch out because this shit is crazy. Because if you go through anything that I went through, the step that you at right now, yeah. you're going to drop down for seven years. Like I, like I was missing, dropped off the map at map for seven fucking years. And I, I could kind of hear it in the song. You said, don't let, don't make sure the lawyer isn't signed to your label. Yeah. So that's kind of pretty much what happened to you. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what happened to me. Well, long story short, I was just, I was in a situation where I was young. I really didn't know what I was getting myself into. And I signed a contract that wasn't in my best interest, mm. period. And, mm. um, and we hear that a yeah, lot. I just got jerked. I got jerked. I got jerked bad. And um, everything I said on there was a fact. Like, if yeah. you guys knew me from 5Gs, like, yes. oh, please, you can't do the 5Gs. Like, oh, please, I couldn't get 5Gs. And the song was making more than 5Gs. Mm. So it was like, you know, bees they, like that. They did the Birdman on you? Yeah, bees like that. No, they didn't do the Birdman on me. My cheeks are sealed. <laughs> 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 Can we try Lucky one more time? Because Lucky, uh, Lucky, Lucky, are you there, Lucky? Lucky, you know what? Come on, Lucky, Lucky. is tying up the line. Man, somebody Lucky, else trying to call you? through. Yeah, right. Like, and because yeah, because if Lucky's calling through, nobody else could get through. Yeah, Lucky, what happened to your bomb? Bro. Yo, All Lucky, right. block um, up the Lucky, line there. man, you're killing us, bro. <clears throat> so now back to um, you were saying who who oh who are some artists you want to work with right now? Right now, like I would definitely want to work with Nicki Minaj. Right now, I would I would. I want to work with Missy Elliott so oh, bad. Oh yes, that would still. be yes. And um, Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor, yeah, of course. Like me and Tiana, we're always in the, we're always in the studio together. But see, we just be trying to find a way to mesh our shit together because I'm so damn hard and she's so damn soft. Like she you is know? soft. Like, but I think that could work. No, it it will work. We got some stuff in the yeah. work. She got a mixtape coming now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you might want to hear me on that. You know what I'm saying? All right, little sound, little something. But okay. yeah, I like Ray Sherman though. Ray, Ray oh, Sherman. Oh, how I can't really say their name. Yeah, Shrimmer. I, I say Shrimmer. their names different every time. Shrimmer. Ray Shrimmer. Shrimmer. Then I like to Shrimmer. The, the I like two Shrimmer. boys. The two boys in them. The two little boys. Yeah, and I, it's so funny because when I was uh, like thinking, I'm like, who I would like to hear you on the track with? I would definitely like to hear you. Oh with. yeah, like the energy, everything. Like and um, uh, Fatty Wap. I would like to hear that. I love him. I actually just got into him this week. <laughs> My friend just like put just me yesterday, on. Like just yesterday, I started like it. <laughs> no, just like just last night, I was yeah. like, wow, but he's I definitely, nice. Like if you remember when Nikki like first did the big thing, it was on like Five Star Chick. Yeah, I want to hear you on like I want to hear you on like a, a a song with dudes because what it was, I was um when I first was telling my boyfriend, I'm like, oh, this is the chick I'm gonna interview. He's yeah. a boy, and you know, females are a minority in hip hop, and he didn't care. So today, <laughs> so today I'm I'm playing the mixtape. I'm doing my hair, and um, he's like he's like, yo, who is that? Uh, so, like he said somebody's name. I didn't know who he said. I'm like, no, that's 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 Britney T. I'm interviewing her today. He's like, oh shit. Like I'm like exactly. Yeah, nigga. Exa <laughs> Step your cup. Yes. Nah. Yes. <laughs> like like for real. Like um. So now I, that's what I'm saying. Like I want to hear you on a song where you let the dudes know. Yeah. Like but I do a lot of that, and I do a lot of that in Miami. Yeah, right like yeah. Uh, like I like I do like I be hopping on the tracks with all the dudes, mm -hmm. like Tory Lanez. Like he's a he's mm -hmm. like the fucking truth, and I be I be getting on the tracks with Tory. You know what I'm saying? I be killing Tory. You know he don't be trying to put the tracks. So you you play. <laughs> I want to see Britney T and Rowdy. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Rowdy. Rowdy. <laughs> Yo, free body bubble for you. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I um, love them niggas, so man. on your, like we were saying earlier, you play around with your sound a lot. You know, you definitely do a lot of accents on the song. Now, what do yeah. you think of like Iggy Azalea and her black scent on the hip hop? Do you think it's okay because of just thinking of how sometimes when you're now, what is this black scent? 
the fact that she's really from Australia and her mm -hmm. voice does not at all sound like she has a southern twang, but when she's on this when she's on the track, she sounds like she's from Alabama. Well, I mean like but but we all know that who Iggy Azalea is is not who Iggy Azalea is. It's mm -hmm. somebody else that's creating Iggy Azalea. Mm -hmm. Not mm -hmm. sure who it is over there and the grand and the hustle, and the hustle over there. Grand. I'm not I'm not sure who it is that's writing it. It might be several of them. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? She's a superstar now. Like mm -hmm. she can have a whole room, a studio session full of just writers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just writing a bunch of her shit. Some and people have come out, out. Some people have come out and said that they write for her. Um, yeah, so I mean and now what do you think? Um because it's funny you're you're talking about all these legal issues that you've gone through and we're finding out it because you're just telling us like a classy yeah. lady. Now, what do you think about Azalea Banks and her just ranting all the time on Twitter? And do you feel that that brings down the brand? Yeah, well, and Azalea, Azalea is actually one of my girls. And okay. um, yeah, like like she she came from the struggle, like yes. the real one, like we did. Like, you know what I'm saying? So oh. she just one of them people that just don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, who knows? Like, I just had one of my first rants, like, who knows? What's gonna happen in the future? I mean, I'm gonna try to not make that the biggest thing. Yeah, does it thing. make people not want to work with you? No, I mean, w with her, like, yes. You know why? Because people in the industry, they're salty. So after you do that, like, you don't know who's watching, you don't know who sees and who's saying, like, and eh, like, black ball. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Exactly. That happens. So that you gotta watch what you do, you gotta watch what you say. And at the end of the day, I don't feel like it's what you're saying; it's how you're saying it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's. Like me, like the way I said, like with the Dej Lotion, like I give props at the same time of I, I speak the truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to straight come out like Dej Love sucks. She's fucking ugly. She's this. She's <laughs> like, like, nah, like, you know what I'm saying? That's she look like somebody auntie. No, you're not yeah, going yeah, to. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care about whose auntie she looks like or who, whose uncle she looks like. You know what I'm saying? But it's just. It's just true facts. You know what I mean? Like, if you ain't talking true facts, if you just ranting just to rant, then you should shut the fuck up. If it's not then speak your mind but yeah, i think so, but i think but I, but 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 i but i think azalea got it like she started getting a kick out of that like oh yeah because it works she it was works. like it led her to play okay. she getting all more again bad press is good press all press okay um so we're actually now gearing towards the end of the show mm -hmm. um now you could tell us what you know what to look for i know you got some performances yeah. coming up but what what should we be looking out for Y'all should be looking now for my performance this Friday at the flat, which is yeah. downtown Brooklyn. And it's going to be a bunch of freaking cool people there. I'm going to bring out some special guests and we're going to get real intimate. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm going to perform a couple joints from my mixtape and a couple exclusives. I'll be there at the flat. And we can follow you official Brie Beauty. Yes. Everywhere. Instagram. Instagram. She's very, very entertaining. I got a dot com. Y'all can holla at me on that. It's yes. www.whosbritneyt.com. Yes. Follow this girl. Yes. Yes. I'm on um, SoundCloud backslash Brie Beauty. That's B-R-I-B-E-A-U-T-Y. And um, Facebook. Britney T dot music and I don't know, just Google that shit or something. Just Google her. <laughs> like all you have to do is Google her. And you know that. Google me. Thank we we want to wish you so much continued much. success. Girl, you, you. you already know. We Thank you, for you so much. You Put already know. On the map. It's, it's, my birthday. Birthday. it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Not, birthday. not, not today. She just she it's wants to tell It was last week. Got you. She still wanna make me know. All right. So everybody tune in next week. We're gonna be up in here with the Shiggy Show, the funny kid Instagram. Yes. All right. So um follow us at me. TV at Jurassic and Diva. Everybody knows this Sunday I will be at the Park 112 hosting Sunday's Best Brunch. Yes. Get your tickets. It's free with your RSVP. Um, yeah. MaceTV.com. Everything we discussed today is on my website. MaceTV.com. Support black businesses that support you. Support it. And let's ladies jump in the DM. Alex T. <laughs> Alex T. Yeah. Slide in the DM. <laughs> yes, on a tender. That was, that was so, so hard. we gonna close oh out. Um, so this is uh, my favorite <laughs> song. Already. Britney yeah. T. Grinding Game. Yes. <laughs> and so we're out. I like